November is Radon Action Month, and the Research and Productivity Council in Fredericton is urging all New Brunswickers to test their homes for radon. I went to RPC to learn more about radon, how it's tested, and what makes it so dangerous. The radon gas is naturally forming. It's from the breakdown of uranium in the soil. Um, it's colorless. It's an odorless gas. Uh, you can't see it, you can't smell it, you can't taste it. Um, and what it'll do is it'll enter your home and as the concentrations increase, it can increase your chance of getting lung cancer. So radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer behind smoking. So it's very important to have your home tested just to make sure that you're within acceptable limits set by Health Canada. And where does New Brunswick stand with respect to radon? So New Brunswick has some of the highest uh, radon levels in Canada. Um, as far as homes, every one in four homes in New Brunswick have high radon levels. What makes New Brunswick so, so um, high in, in radon? So unfortunately radon, um, it's from the breakdown of uranium and we do have a lot of uh, uranium rich soil um, just from our geology. Um, so it's unfortunately that's why we have a lot of, of radon gas. And why is November in particular uh, Radon Action Month? So Radon Action Month is in November because um, the best time to test for radon gas in your home is over the heating season. So that's kind of a kickoff um, to start before the heating season gets in, into play. Um, when all the homes are closed up, you're closing up your home more, you're not opening up your windows. So that, oh, November's a good month to start to, to remind people that, hey, we gotta, we gotta test for our radon. So this is the kit that you get through RPC. Um, it, it comes with easy to follow instructions and everything's in the sealed bag. So this is heat sealed and as well as it's got a seal here. So as soon as you open up the bag, it's gonna start the test. So if you peel back the, the bag, the kit's inside. It comes out like so. Mm -hmm. um, that's gonna be placed in the lowest lived in level where you spend at least four hours of the day. Mm -hmm. um, you don't wanna crowd anything around it. There's instructions inside here as well to kind of place it in the right okay. position. Um, it needs to be in the breathing zone, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. So Not around too much stuff? Not around too much stuff, okay. yeah. We like to see at least eight inches around the, okay. uh, the kit. Um, and that's gonna stay down in that location or on the main floor for at least three months. Mm -hmm. As of, you're gonna put it back into the kit, the bag. Yep. Seal it up tight. Yep. You're gonna fill out your deployment form that's inside the kit as well, mm -hmm. and that's gonna be either sent back to RPC or dropped off. So once it gets sent back here, we'll open up the kit, we'll remove that piece of plastic, and then we'll mount it on the microscope and we'll, we'll do the analysis. What these are, Claire, is that they're little, actually the little etch marks that are made in the plastic. So our, our microscope will actually count each one of these etches, and that's what we determine the radon concentration versus the time. So they kind of look like a little ice cream cone, essentially. Yeah. 